Arms are a little too big. Tux looks super freaking whack. Let's see what we can do to fix this. God, my face got so much bigger. What up, MacPack? Welcome back to the vlog. Hi. Today is August 20th. We have a very, very busy day. We just got off work, but we're about to go to my tux appointment right about now. How's it going? At the men's warehouse. All right, guys, so I'm about to get measured. Got to pick out the right suit today. What about the little boys one? Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to pick that number. <laughs> like something like this? Oh, that's pretty nice. Are you just saying that? It's so surreal because I was legitimately here when my friend Daniel got married. And now years ago? we're here. I think, guys, we're going to go with the maroon bow tie. Still trying to picture it. Tina's like, I don't know. <sighs> Stressful. And all the groomsmen are wearing this dark gray. That ass. <laughs> you want the tiger? Yeah, this is that possible. Might have to buy the own dress shirt. Boy, your arm's too big. But they're not that big. Honestly, what about the... <laughs> Perfect. Like a real boy. Are you Pinocchio? Uh, for sure. I think arms are a little too big. This one's pretty good. Arms. Too much of this. <laughs> Hello! What's up, guys? So we just got done with the tail. <sighs> My the way. tailor. I, oh. tailor. We just got done with my suit fitting. It was a tux, actually. Sorry. As you can see, like the pants I was wearing, obviously one leg was longer than the other, just to see like how I would fit in it. The dress shirt looked goofy. Brian's arms oh are pretty God. big, but like that was really big. And like, since we're renting, you can't get the tailor. Yeah. Pretty much where the forearm was, like you literally fit a watermelon in there. And I was like, uh, is there any way you can make this tighter around my forearms? And the guy was like, uh, no. <sighs> Either have watermelon forearms or you could just get your, or I don't even know, man. My guess is that we just go and buy a nicer shirt, fit a lot better. I tried on a better fitting suit. I like the way it fit on my upper body, but for the sleeves and the bottom of the suit jacket, it was a little long. So he said he's for sure going to get, make that shorter for me. So we do have up until two weeks before the wedding to actually make any changes. Cause your boy is about to drop some pounds. Boy, you got two more weeks. You I think I'm gonna drop like 125 pounds. Yeah, and then you'll be negative too. No, no, I would just lose you. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this little footage. Tina said it was too quiet to film. It was. All right, so we better grab some grub and I'll see you in a bit. Honestly, guys, I know that tux looks super freaking whack. Pretty disappointed, <laughs> but I'm just sure like just the little alterations we're gonna make is gonna look way way better So it's not gonna look that bad. I promise I feel like Brian's body type is so specific like he got big old meaty arms. He got a Dorito body big tick So that's dinner your boy is about to drop some pounds diet starts Monday. It's Tuesday Hello MacPack, today I'm doing a little bit of a DIY, one that I was not expecting to do, but it is something that has to be fixed. And the DIY I want to do today is actually a Vietnamese headpiece. My mom actually got it custom made from Vietnam and let me show you exactly what I wanted it to look like. So this is like the picture that I sent to my mom and I was like, please can we have some gold on it like this and to have florals and all this stuff on it. My mom's like, this is what I gotcha. I'm gonna do the best of my ability to add more florals over here. I'll probably get rid of this entirely if I can. It looks like it's literally glued on with hot glue gun, but let's see what we can do to fix this.
Okay, people, let's do this. So it is yet a different day, but I have the final product. Here she is. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. I feel like it looks kind of close to my reference picture. The only difference is that one obviously had embroidered flowers. And don't look at my nails, they got even worse, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm really happy with how this came out. I think it looks really, really cute. It matches perfectly with my red Aoyai that I'm gonna wear later, and I am so excited to wear this. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I'm just so happy with how this came out and it looks a million times better than the one that my mom got me from Vietnam that they tried to fix but they absolutely did not fix. If you have something that you want to improve upon, take it into your own hands and do it yourself. Sometimes you really can't trust professionals. And that's all I gotta say so thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned. Ew, why do I look bald? I thought this would be nice for me and Brian to make for dinner. It's a Hawaiian barbecue glazed pork dinner and it's from Amazon. So I'm hoping that it will be good. And I'm solely basing this off of the fact that I've had Amazon go a bunch of times and their food has been pretty good. So I'm hoping this will be the same, but let's see. What's up guys, just got back from the gym. The wife has told you about what we're about to do today. Here we have the Himalayan molecule minerals mixing in some pure uh, hydroclonic uh, to oxygen -o. Brian doesn't even know what we're making, to be honest. This is kind of like Jello Resh. We are not gonna say your name until you give us a free box or a sponsorship. But it's not HelloFresh. You said the name! Jello Esh. Amazon meal kit. I forgot to mention I got this at Whole Foods. Yeah. And it was like $18. 18 bucks for two servings. So this is a great opportunity for us to cook something because we've been eating out a lot. Too damn much. We'll show you what happens. Yeah. Can you put say? the macaroni in? Mac -aroni. I don't think nobody oh, wants to yeah. see this. Gross. Nice. Let's go. Guys, this is a blessing because we cannot cook <laughs> for anything. If I tried, I could, okay? If I had a good recipe, yeah. <laughs> we can't cook. Right, guys we've been slaving away i already mm. tasted a little bit of this mac you don't like it did you like it i can tell it's miracle whip okay. miracle whip so much better than mayo so, obviously i brought some of my helmet <laughs> just in case i had it in my purse <laughs> for the pork we kind of cooked a little bit on the george foreman grill i don't think you were supposed to do that you wanted to pan fry but we we're in a rush because i was starving just got back from the gym to the 315 bench press please hercules hercules hercules, hercules. I would say we made it kind of more healthy. Yeah. We didn't keep all the fats on it. So it yeah. does look a little parched. Bon apple tea. Cheers. <laughs> Pretty good. Six out of ten. <laughs> Maybe we made it too dry. This it's thing. not bad though. Six out of ten. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Alright, <laughs> uh, I tried a Mac, yo. You've already had some, right? I have I tasted some you of it. You had some of the big Mac though, right? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 
Can no. definitely taste the vinegar. I can taste how it would taste like Hawaiian macaroni salad, but definitely needs more flavor. What does it need though? Um, flavor. I'm scared, this one's got good. There's spicy. pineapples in here, carrots, red onion, cheers. Kind of spicy. Yeah, you've got a kick. It's okay. I, I think know. it'd be probably better without the pineapple, to be honest. Really? I like it. Well, next time Jello Resh can get <laughs> Give us a box and we can do the same thing for you guys. <laughs> we made a good effort. <laughs> if you made this at home, it'd be like, okay, it's like a B-grade Hawaiian restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> a B, that's what you give this? It's not amazing, but at the same time, it's like, oh, it's kind of good. <laughs> Better than TV dinner. And it's different than what we would make usually mm -hmm. at home, which is usually boring stuff. I'm so used to eating like plain chicken breast and just like crying food. I'll take this over the food I usually eat any day of the week. Six out of Six ten. Out of ten. Six out of ten. Oh, he eating. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, oh. my God. A lot more videos to come. Thank you guys so much for the support so far on the channel. Everything's been more and more consistent. The more and more we've been consistent. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting us. And we'll see you in the next one. Right. Bye. Bye.